So I've been working on the ancient computer kit and we got it working. So um, Cyrus and I were working on this and we found out that, well, we, earlier we'd found out that this flip-flop chip was bad. It buffers the key presses that come in off the keyboard switch. It get buffered into here. Um, we found that we had a solder bridge back on the back side so it was shorting one of these one of the bits was always being high um, or low I can't remember which one but it was always being the same so no matter what you did that bit was stuck so remove that trace and now it works so we've got a really basic not a really basic but a basic flash Q program in now this one has a delay subroutine I was practicing delay subroutines so if I push let's see I also discovered how to edit a program in here most people probably know that if you have one but I'll show you here anyway so if I reset it and I say load I've got memory protect is latched down and I can put in and I'll see my program. So I've got F8, 07, A3, F8, 00, uh, B3, D3, 7B, F8, 14, A7, F8, 00, B7, D7, 7A, D7, 30, 07, D3, F8. Now, I know because I wrote this program that the next one is going to be the time of the delay. So F8 is load. So now I'm going to undo memory protect. And I'm editing the next address, which makes editing a little bit hard. And now I'm going to do 0, 5, in. Push or put on memory protect again, and now I'm at 0, 05. So if I push in, now I'm into um, gobbledygook at the end of the program. So now if I push reset and then run, now Q is blinking like four times as fast. So here's the program that's running. Um, this is up on GitHub in case anybody is really interested. Um, I could, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, we're loading um, D immediately with the low bits of this main address and we're storing that in register 3, the low bits of register 3. We're loading the high bits of this address. We're storing those high bit that in the high bits of register 3 and we're setting the program counter to be register 3 so that loads 0, 07 and 00. zero. so 0, 07 is the location of the start of main so first thing main does is sets Q then we do the same things here except for we're, we're, we're loading in delay for the address into register 7 and then we change the program counter to be register 7 and what that does is it jumps us all the way down to delay down here 14 and then we load D immediately with 0 sorry with 2 0 in hex we put those high it was in the high bits of register F. We decrement register F. We get the high bits of register F and we check to see if they're zero. If they're zero, we branch up here to exit, which sets it back to program counter three, which bumps us back to um, here. Well, the next instruction down. But anyways, otherwise, if it's not zero, so if, if it has reached zero, we branch back, but if it's not zero, we do this loop again and decrementing, decrementing until it's down to zero, 
um, well actually the register would then be at the high bits would be zero and the low bits would still be at um, FF but because there's no compare immediate compares to the to D register there's no 16-bit operations in this so you you can only check for the high bits you could do a lot more work but this is all we need um, and then why we branch here to go up to the exit is now we reset Q but to get back to the subroutine all we need to do is set the program counter to register 7 because our location was here so now the next thing is the start of this delay and so on so that's how we put the exit at the top of the subroutine which is a little bit odd um, but it makes perfect sense for this architecture and we branch up to main go through again reinitialize that we could actually just branch make it a shorter branch so it doesn't have to keep setting this if I wanted to um, sort of have it as an initialized thing um, but it, it works this way and then goes through this branch delay branch delay so if we go through this program um, once I get down to here I can just edit this program and change this value and it changes how fast it blinks um, over here are all the instructions so F807 A3 F800 so you have to type in all those so I'll demonstrate how you would enter in this program and how to edit it afterwards so let's see so let's go reset load um, turn off memory protect pains me to do this because it can be a pain to enter in programs but now that I know how to edit them it makes things a heck of a lot easier so I go F8 in now it says C8 so that's not right um, reset so I go F8 in no sorry reset load F8 in zero seven in a three in now it came up seven three <laughs> so that's wrong so I'm gonna put on memory protect I'm gonna reset it and step through so load step through F8's right 07's right now I'm gonna turn back off memory protect and now this is gonna be a3 in a3 shows up at address 2 address 2 should be a3 then it'd be f8 in 00 in and so on so I'll do the rest of this program and get it back flashing because you don't want to see me type in all these but that's how the programming goes. So I gotta type in all of these codes um, and then it makes the LED blink. So I got the program entered back in again. Um, I did 30 or 30 for the delay for the high bits. So now Q is blinking slower again. So that's editable in the program. Um, yeah, so that's how this thing works. I want to program in um, a bubble sort algorithm into this just for fun. I think uh, I'll probably work on that um, with Cyrus on Thursday. If not, we might do something else. Who knows what, what we'll end up doing. I also want to have it flash Q, um, type in a, a string, and have it output in Morse code via Q, so convert ASCII to Morse code with this. Uh, I've got a plan in my head. Um, the start of that is up on GitHub again, so I'm going to do that um, all in instructions um, if I end up having time to finish it. So, anyways, that's the ancient computer up and running. Um, hopefully this helped the one other person who has the, this thing and doesn't know how to program it. Um, or just a insight into how you used to program computers. That is, if anybody ever actually 
use these because it's it's hard to actually make it do something fun. It's a lot of work. Um, I'd imagine most of these kits were never really used because um, you don't have a display. You only can output um, data to this. You can output to the pins too, but then you know. There were add-ons for this board, but as it stands, you, know, you don't have a video screen, all you have is a blinky light and numbers. And getting it to display numbers is a pain. Because um, you have to store them in memory. You can't send a register or the accumulator out to this port. You can only send a memory location out. So you have to store everything in the memory and blah blah blah. Um, a note to that, we, we, Cyrus and I were playing with this and trying to add um, 2 plus 3 and we did get 5. Um, but if you have memory protect on, any program that manipulates memory doesn't work. So if you unclick memory protect, um, it does say that in the instructions, but I mean, who reads all the instructions? So that's the ancient computer programmed away. Um, if anybody wants to see another program for this, leave me a message. I'll see what I can do. Um, I'm pretty new to the 1802 um, architecture as far as program it and assembly. I've done, in college I did a bunch for the 68 HC11 microprocessor. Um, this is a completely different thing, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. So, <laughs> that said, I got a long way to go, I'm sure, but... I at least can make a subroutine and a delay and make a light blink. And once you can do subroutines and basic branches, you pretty much got it nailed. I mean, you could make one giant program, but really, if you can't do subroutines and you're programming an assembly and typing in via here, man, it's going to be hard um, <laughs> to type everything in. Reusing code in assembly is definitely an important thing. Um, so, there we have it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, I'd hope you'd consider subscribing. I've got a virtually endless supply of projects I could make videos about. If there's something I can do better, or if there's a type of video you'd like to see more of, leave a comment down below.